Hi! In this video, you will learn how to divide decimals. Dividing decimals is very similar as dividing whole number. Just like whole numbers, we can use long division. The decimal inside the division symbol is what we call as the dividend. And the one outside is what we call as the divisor. To divide a decimal, you must know how to count the decimal places. So if I have 0 0.56, then to count the decimal places, you simply count starting from the right to the decimal point. So that's 1 and 2. So the decimal place of this decimal is 2, namely the tenths and the hundreds place. Next we have 1.2036. Again, to count the decimal places, we simply count starting from the right up to the decimal point. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this decimal has 4 decimal places. Here's a very important rule in dividing decimals. You can only divide decimals if your divisor is a whole number. In this example, our divisor is 1.26. It is not a whole number. So what we need to do is to move the decimal point to the right until it becomes a whole number, such as this. Now let's start dividing. Let's divide 6.72 by 0 0.06. To divide these decimals, let's change it to long division. Remember to put the dividend inside the division symbol and the divisor outside the symbol. Now as mentioned earlier, you cannot divide decimals if the divisor is not a whole number. So we must move the decimal point to the right until it becomes a whole number. In this case, we need to move the decimal point twice to the right. As a consequence of this, we also need to move the decimal point of our dividend twice to the right. Then, we have to raise the decimal point if necessary. In this case, it's not. Okay, now that our divisor is already a whole number and it's 6, let's now start dividing. Dividing decimals is just similar as how you divide whole numbers. So first, you must think of a digit that when you multiply to 6, the answer is also 6. That number is 1 because 1 times 6 is 6. Then we subtract 6. So 6 minus 6 is 0. Then we bring down the next digit, which is 7. Now we have to think of a number that when multiplied to 6, the answer is 7 or closer to 7. That number is still 1. So 1 times 6 is 6. Then we subtract the two numbers. 7 minus 6 is 1. Next, we bring down the last digit, which is 2. So this will become 12. Now we have to think of a number that when multiplied to 6, the result is equal to 12 or something closer to 12. That number is 2 because 2 times 6 is 12. Subtracting 12 to 12 will result to 0. So the final answer is 112. Here, we need to divide 2.58 by 0 0.4. So again, in long division, it will look like this. Since our divisor is not a whole number, then we need to move the decimal point one place to the right. Now it's already a whole number, and it's 4. As a consequence, we also need to move the decimal point of the dividend once to the right. Then we raise the decimal point above. Make sure it's aligned. Earlier, we did not do this because the dividend is already a whole number and it's really not necessary at that point. Now let's divide. Let's think of a number that when multiplied to 4, the result is 25 or something closer to 25. That number is 6. And remember, it's wrong to place the number over here. Since we're dividing two digits, then you must place the number over here. 6 times 4 is 24, and that's closer to 25. Now we subtract. 25 minus 24 is 1. Next, we bring down 8 and combine the two numbers. Now we have 18. Next, we think of a number that when multiplied to 4, the result is closer or equal to 18. That number is 4 
because 4 times 4 is 16. So if we subtract, that's 18 minus 16. And the answer is 2. Now, you might be thinking that there's a remainder, but no, there's none. Our goal is to make the remainder to become 0. So we must continue. For us to continue dividing, we need to add 0 over here. That will not change the value of the numbers since what we're adding is just 0. Now let's bring down 0 and combine it with the other number. This will become 20. Now we have to think of a number that when multiplied to 4, the result is closer or equal to 20. That number is 5 because 5 times 4 is 20. Subtracting the two numbers will lead us to a zero remainder. Thus, the final answer is 6.45. Now there are times that no matter what you do, the remainder will not become zero. Here's an example. 4.68 divided by 2.2. In long division, it will look like this. Since our divisor is not a whole number, then we need to move the decimal point, one place to the right. As a consequence, we also need to move the decimal point of the dividend once to the right. Then we raise the decimal point over here. Just make sure it's aligned. Now we have to think of a number that when multiplied to 22, the result is closer or equal to 46. That number is 2 because 2 times 22 is equal to 44. Then we subtract. 46 minus 44 is 2. Next, we bring down 8. So this will become 28. Now we have to think of a number that when multiplied to 22, the result is closer or equal to 28. That number is 1 because 1 times 22 is 22. Subtracting the two numbers will result to 6. Since there is still a remainder, then we must add 0, then bring it down. So now we have 60. We have to think of a number that when multiplied to 22, the result is 60 or closer to 60. That number is 2 because again, 2 times 22 is 44. Subtracting the two numbers will result to 16. Again, we need to add 0 because there is still a remainder. So this will become 160. Now, what will I multiply to 22 to get closer to 160? That number is 7 because 7 times 22 is equal to 154. Now subtracting these two numbers will result to 6. As you can see, the remainder that we have is just similar to what we have earlier. As a matter of fact, if we continue this, then you will just be repeating the same numbers over and over again. This decimal is what we call as repeating decimals and no matter how long you divide, it will never end. So for this, we can just stop at the thousands place and add these three dots. This dot means that a decimal or a certain number will never end. By the way, if you find it very hard to follow, then please consider learning how to divide whole numbers and come back here later. Here's our second to the last example, 33 divided by 1.5. In long division, it will look like this. Since our divisor is not a whole number, then we need to move the decimal point one place to the right. So this will become 15. As a consequence, we need to move the decimal point of 33 once to the right. Remember that this is a whole number, and the decimal point of a whole number is located at the rightmost corner. So when we move the decimal point, we start from here. Now to compensate with the missing number place, we then add 0. Now what number should I multiply to 15 to get closer to 33? That number is 2 because 2 times 15 is 30. Subtracting these two numbers will result to 3. If we bring down 0, then this will become 30. So again, the number that I need to multiply to 15 to get 30 is 2 because 2 times 15 is 30. 
Subtracting the two numbers will result to zero. So the final answer is a whole number which is 22. In this case, we did not raise the decimal point because the division process ends before it even reached the decimal point. Here's the last example. We divide 3.84 by 16. By long division, it will look like this. If you notice, the divisor is already a whole number. So there's no need for us to move the decimal point. So what we need to do is simply raise the decimal point of our dividend. Just make sure that everything is aligned. Now let's divide. What number will I multiply to 15 to get an answer closer to 38? That number is 2. We put it over here because we're dividing two digits. 2 times 15 is equal to 30. If we subtract the two digits, the remainder is 8. Then we bring down 4, making this number equal to 84. The number that we need to multiply to 15 to get an answer closer to 84 is 5 because 5 times 15 is 75. Now we just have to subtract these numbers. And the result to that is 9. Since we still have a remainder, then we need to add 0 and bring it down. So this will become 90. The number that I can multiply to 15 to get 90 is 6. So 6 times 15 is 90. If we subtract the numbers, the remainder is 0. So the final answer is 0 0.256.